Okay, here we are back again in the Winter Palace with Krem and Bull. And the notes from Sarah, but that's not important. <laughs> Is there anyone in... Oh, we are still checking everything here. But anyway... <coughs> well, that's the best way to greet Bull. <coughs> that's another greeting to him. This should be good. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Craig. <laughs> Alright, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. He does? I find he loves hitting. Good to see you. Ball. Uh I sure like night enchanting. Just hate the thicker battle. So I can't imagine hanging back. It's nice to get your hands dirty. That's why I like you, boss. You swing a sword. It's a weird sword made out of magic, but still. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen a rift in ages. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I just. Isn't Torlesian history grand? It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during the Orlesian unification, under the reign of Mafarath's son, Isarath. Uh huh. <laughs> I am boring the crap out of it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, I just love Ferelden politics. Country is divided into ten years governed by tens. <laughs> Inside those are cities and arlings ruled by arls. <laughs> and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. And I'm boring. To Good to know. I'm still boring the crap out of him, but they're getting to the point. I wonder how this would have. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Well, that went far. The council may affect Lyrium. Do you think news of the exalted council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Surprise! Happy birthday, chief. Uh. <laughs> oh, you guys! You got me. Yep, they sure did. <laughs> well, at least I kept them busy long enough. <laughs> that was it. Hey! Uh... Okay, well that's Josephine. Is there something behind here? Oh, I already checked this area. That's Charter! Oh! Oh, that's probably because Liliana isn't here! Wait, was that? That's a... How the hell am I supposed to get up there? That's not fair! That's cheating! How the hell am I supposed to... Is there a part where I can climb up? Oh, come on! I am not leaving until I get my hands on that. Uh... This is not fair! What the hell is up there? And how do I get up there? Is there a trampoline I have missed? Yeah, I know it's loot. How can I get to it? That's not fair! Ugh! 
Inaccessible loot is unfair loot. It's not fair. Is there not a part where I can climb up here? I did that before. Why can't I do it again? This isn't even a party. I hate you people. Did I go in here? I did. Dude, pay attention. <sighs> More books. Varric in the last few years. Inquisitor, greetings and salutation from beautiful Kirkwall. It's Kirkwall. There's nothing beautiful about it, to be honest. Anyway, the sun is shining, the seabirds are screeching, and almost nothing in the high town has fallen into a sinkhole and ended up in the sewers of in over a month. The red lyrium cleanup in the gallows is going better than expected. Nobody misses, <laughs> misses having merit fused to the flagstones, eerily glaring at everyone. Well, <laughs> I'd be weirded out if anybody would miss it. The city guard celebrated finally getting her out of there by holding a completely improv to parade. Several Lowtown residents composed a song on the spot while lyrics to the effect of Fank the Maker, the Crazy Curse Templar is gone, <laughs> which was remarkably catchy, catchy, despite or maybe because of the fact that it was mostly just swearing in tune. <laughs> Even with all this stellar progress, it looks like I'm stuck here. Chan channel channels in the harbor were completely changed by falling debris in few years a few years back, which led to a lot of ships getting wrecked coming and going, which only made things worse. And then we had wrists open and weird glowing fade rocks appeared out there. Incidentally, thanks for closing the rift. Now the only hope for repairing the harbor is to, tend to send guys with pickaxes to clear the rocks. Ever try to hire miners who are also divers, Inquisitor? There aren't many, and even fewer are happy mining glowing shit from the fade. This is going to take a lot of my coin to fix. Stop by the city sometime. We'll get in a game of Wicked Grace. Please. This Viscount shit is boring me to death. Well, that's politics. Vivienne in the last few years. Inquisitor, I fear I shall have no opportunity to meet you with... <coughs> prior to the Exalted Council at Halam Shiral, the colleges and fraternities of Chanters are holding yet another round of elections in a few months, and I must be present to organize everything, or the Equitarians and the Lucrosians will inevitably get drawn into the most passive-aggressive arguments over the number of ballot boxes and, arrange and the arrangements of voting cards you can possibly imagine. On the last two occasions when I, I could not be spared from my duties at the Imperial Court, the isolationists sealed themselves inside the debating area with ice walls in protest over some insult from a libertarian senior enchanter from Cumberland. Uh, uh, <laughs> I must, of course, convey the continuing approbation of the Orlesian Court, though I have no doubt dear Duke Cyril has already bored you to death with the Council of Herald's compliments by now. I actually haven't spoken to the guy yet. Cullen in the last few years. Word has spread from Denerim about the summit the Inquisition will attend. The news is half rumors, but with the representatives they say are going, it's clearly serious. And the, t and the details are probably not something you could put down in a letter. I will, however, look forward to more glowing descriptions about how much you love our legion parties. <laughs> Seriously? Branson's here. His son... And insist I add hello, Cole, to this letter. He also insists it be hello and not hello. Her, your nephew is stubborn. How very familiar. Love, Mia. Kassan, Inquisitor, I am writing to you from the Hunter Horn Mountains, where I was successful in tracking down Seeker Emery. She was more shocked than most to hear of Lord Seeker Lucius' betrayal as he was her mentor when she was just an initiate. But she is eager to help rebuild, and she has heard of a, f of a few uh, other Seekers who might have been sent to Ravain. I still do not know how many of us yet remain, how many Lush is killed, but I know that we are recovering, and I know that we will be better this time. I confess I look forward to returning to Orlay next month. Once I would have thought that impossible, Orlay was little more than the, la the frustrating politics, excessive ornamentation, and responsibilities... I did not want, but now the had friends wait for me there. It is almost a home. An addendum is scribbled quickly at the When we see each other again, I look forward to spending time with you. It will be soon, I hope. Though I have my duties, and I can hardly begrudge you yours. What I mean is that it will be good to be back beside you. Ugh, how does Varric make this sound troll? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be... I'm not sure if I should say anything, then. I'll... Oh, can I actually... Iron Bull in the last few years. 
Thank you for sending the charges to assist in dealing with the demons attacking Monfort. Their assistance was most appre- Ah, oh, this isn't Bull. It was most appreciated and many lives were saved. The Iron Bull and his charges have prevented another civil war from sweeping across LA with their efforts in Perindale. The Iron Bull in particular defeated the would-be usurper in combat. Hey, he does like to beat things up. We must protest the actions of the Bull's charges in Southreach. While the presence of demons and Templars corrupted by Red Lyrium is undisputed, the necessity of your dwarven miner collapsing the better part of, the m of a mountain on the enemy forces was hardly necessary. <laughs> the bull's charges were of great assistance in driving back the demons that attacked the shores of Lake Callanhad. The elf who calls herself Dalish was particularly helpful, and I look forward to her promised explanation of how Dalish archery techniques can create walls of ice or dispel magical barriers. <laughs> Excerpt from letters of thanks relating to the activities undertaken by bull's charges over the past two years. Storage. And I can... I can actually choose my casual wear? You're kidding. To be honest, I think I'll keep it with this for now. Can I actually... Uh, no. Let's just keep it with the Winter Palace outfit. Uh, it's fine by me. Read. Activity in the Winter Palace. Charters notes in an, in an encryption she developed with Leanne over the past couple of years. CM's intentions seem sincere. Agent in place at party tonight where CM is attending. Yeah. Celine, I'm guessing? VP left notes at drop as promised. Serving in green li livery scene, leaving guest wing or of pals at odd hours. Possibly tryst? Possible tryst. Madame, El Madame LV's second cousin is a bard and employee of Duke WM. Lord W W J G plans to meet Lady G D tonight. Neither of their spouses know. The Lord R W plans to meet with Lady S R tonight. Their their spouses do know. Lord R W's wife encouraged R W to step out with S R so she could have some peace and quiet to herself. Interesting. Conduct the becoming of the Inquis Conduct becoming. To all members of the Inquisition, it has come to my attention that I must remind everyone to the, of the type of behavior expected from us during this exalted council. It is natural to wish to hold our heads high, but remember that we are guests of the Imperial Court. It is upon us to behave with good grace, propriety, and restraint. If you are unsure of how to address someone of gentle birth, my lord or my lady will suffice. If you are fearful that you have overstepped an unknown protocol, speak with your commanders. If they are not available, seek me out. Over-imbibing is strongly discouraged at all times. If you are steered out into an argument about the Inquisition's politics, politely excuse yourself as quickly as possible. Please do not engage in these debates. If all else fails, trust sense and common courtesy to guide your actions. Sincerely, Lady Montelier. Uh, you might want to tell that to quite a few of our people. Dorian in the last few years. Inquisitor, it was good to hear from you, my friend. For months I've had only the society of... M May virus fledgling in Lucerne party, junior members of the magisterium so filled with fire and zeal and so wildly inept at politics. May keeps a bucket of ice water on hand in case anyone accidentally immolates himself. Lest I give you the wrong impression, we are making progress, but it will take a great deal of skill to keep the Lucerne alive through the, un through the usual schedule of Minrafu scheming long enough to become a real political faction. Fortunately, they do have me. Confident as always. But well, that's Dorian. I'm sorry to hear that politics are plaguing you as well. Must be something going around, like a pestilence or an Elysian fashion trend. <laughs> Hopefully Josephine can defuse the Pharrell in outcry and persuade your allegiance to stop circling you with a collar and leash. You know she did always love a challenge. I'll find an excuse to make a trip south soon. We should really catch up in person, don't you agree? I want to see Dorian though. He's he's still one of my he's got to be one of my favorite characters. Well met, your worship. So, Charter was just what the delivery girl? Oh, it seems to be that way. Yes, there's... We're gonna have to do this. Cassandra, baby, how you been doing, sweetheart? Oh. Something wrong? Is everything alright? 
Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. You seem distraught. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. Uh. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Uh. Maybe I should sit. <laughs> the last three years have been a joy. I cannot have asked for more love or a better friend. But to take such a drastic step, despite all the consequences or how it would appear, I fear what it might do to us. Do you not feel the same? <sighs> we should... S uh, she kind of lost me here. We should start over. Maybe I should leave and come back. I think I missed the beginning. <laughs> I'm talking about marriage. Oh, definitely. Yes, marriage. You are here to propose, are you not? Oh, if you ask for it, uh, uh. <laughs> You're not here to propose. Uh, I can improvise? Oh, shit. I'm going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? Fairy told you that. He said I was going to propose. <laughs> Mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. Maybe we should get married. Now that you've brought it up, maybe we should get married. Perhaps one day. It will be a truly romantic proposal. And I will act very surprised. I'll do my best to make it a surprise. What next will not be easy for either of us. But you do not have to fight for me. I am not going anywhere. Not even if the Maker himself tries to stop me. Believe that. That is all I meant to say. A bit... Awkward, but... Okay. How did Varric of all people become the Viscount of Kirkwall? <sighs> A mystery for the ages. World is full of surprises. Anyway. Okay, that was that. Okay, that was the most awkward thing I've had in ages. <laughs> Varric? I like you, but never ever do that like that like that ever again. I hate you already. <laughs> Why does he do this? Why does he always do this? I guess stupid question to ask. It's Varric. Anyway, where's the dog? There's the dog. Boom. 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 Where is... Okay, Vivian is around there somewhere. I really hope Dorian shows up before this whole mess gets started, because... I really hope he's going to show up. The baths. I could use a bath. I mean, a... There she... Wait. Oh, yeah, she is over there. Anyway, first something else. Oh! More hard in Hightown chapters. Haven't I found enough of these already? Loot. What could this be? Broken mask. Whatever. I really... I was really actually hoping that marriage would come up. I would do it. A silver ring. I'll hold on to that. None of these guests can be talked to, but... Uh, <coughs> sorry, but I've had a bit of talking today already, so the voice tends to leave once in a while. I'll keep it up. Don't worry. More dog treats. 
This should be the last one, I think. I'll do a good, quick scouring before I... or a furrow one, at least. Or lesions. Ah! Not interested in the chapters. Look, I want to read them, but not during a fucking playthrough. Damn it! I swear. Even when I try, I still do it. Sorry, we people just... What can I say? We G we Dutch people like to swear. And we sometimes use a very inappropriate word for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's that's where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, uh, before we do anything else, so these staircases lead to there. Not going up there just yet, then. Can I walk under the waterfall? I can, but there's no special physics, but I guess that's uh, a little picky. I really hope Dorian shows up though. But first, I got a few extra dog treats. Time to use them. And that was that. This constitution is going to be serious if I need this much. Vivian, darling, how have you been doing? Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Uh appointment. Oh boy. With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. Thanks. Sounds like fun. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. <laughs> as confident as ever. Oh boy. If I look like a ah! What are the cheese wheels for? <laughs> it pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. I think this is over civilized. You hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. <laughs> How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I hope things are well with you and Cassandra. Looking for juicy details? Are you digging for gossip, Vivienne? Trying to get me to give up the juicy details? Merely expressing concern for your well-being, my dear. Someone ought to. <laughs> what have you been up to? You must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas' institutions of magic from flying apart. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Uh. Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. <laughs> they have other appointments, you know. Yeah, I'd like to get out of this ridiculous bathing suit. Thank you! <laughs> Please tell me that was it. That was just... <laughs> There's amps everywhere! But I think... Oh, huh? I didn't know I could read this. Rotate. Seriously? There's even... Oh, f Screw this! I'm not going through all that crap. That is just a little too much work for my taste. Okay, so... Uh, what is up here, anyway? Oh, another one? Ugh. There's a lot of these things in here, isn't there? And another book? I'm gonna ask again. How many chapters does this damn thing have? And ooh, is there anything good to see? Well... Uh, no. Don't understand what is actually the point of that. There might be a point. Don't feel like going to look for it all now. What can I say? When it comes to these kind of recordings, I don't want to make them drag out too long, so... You know. 
I think I'll speak to Liliana later, because uh, I think Duke Cyril is down there. I know Duke Cyril, by the way. This could get complicated. So, I'd rather get the complicated stuff out of the way first. Or, well, I can read this, dedication. How much reading needs to be done? Loot. Oh, it never ends. Caprice coins. Oh boy. Duke Cyril. Dorian's been talking with him. This unsigned note is creased as if it had been secreted away in someone's pocket. Dearest Jay, I agree it is surprising that the Ferelden's come as equals, but the Exalted Council is in the heart of Southern Orlais. That cannot be lost to on our neighbors. Well, they're well protected. Uh, let's... I don't know if it matters really that much. The Inquisition support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? <laughs> but you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Dorian, how have you been doing, buddy? Uh, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. <laughs> it's good to see you, my friend. You're bored, aren't you? <laughs> I gotta say, good to see you. <laughs> ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. But the most competent one. Me, by the way, a reward for my interest in the South. <laughs> Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. It's probably going to be necessary. We. Oui. Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hay. I've heard of you. Long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Hmm. <laughs> it's expected we're powerful. You disagree with? Mm. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. That is the better option. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. <sighs> I don't like the idea of any of these matters. Now, to this one. But first, the books. Loot. Uh, did... Whatever. A dispatch from the Crown of Ferelden. To our honored friend, Arl Teagan. Thank you for attending this exalted council. We trust you implicitly with Ferelden's wishes and to fight for the security of our borders. Messengers will dis be dispatched daily so that you are not cut uh, off from us as you undertake this duty. Make it be with you, King Alistair and Queen Honora of Ferelden. Postscript has been scribbled faintly at the bottom of the page. Good luck, Uncle. If there's anyone I'd rather have there than me, it's you. Or anyone else, really. But thanks for braving the lion. Uh... I don't think it matters again who I talk to, but let's just do Liliana anyway. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? <laughs> of course not, Inquisitor. I was catching up with Redcliffe's arm. He's here to represent Ferelden at the summit. He looks pissed. Good to meet you. How is Redcliffe? How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? Blessedly quiet. The mayor conveys his greetings. Redcliffe remembers its savior. Uh, moment, Your Holiness? I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. <laughs> Very well. We'll continue this later, Your Perfection. Perfection? I'm frightened of the Inquisition's power, but I will do all I can to allay their fears. <sighs> Should I be worried? 
When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. <laughs> Good. Someone should keep you on your toes. We don't want you to get bored, Inquisitor. Thanks. I have much to do, but let me say this. I may no longer be your spy master, but I am always here if you require. They really don't like me because I hold a lot of power in my... I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. <laughs> At least you're open about it. I appreciate knowing where Ferelden stands. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. Yeah. These lesions will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the exalted council begins. I think I should have now all the talks with. Wait, catch up with Ulf. What if I? Uh, I haven't talked with everyone or something. Wait, what are you talking about? I have spoken to everyone now, haven't I? What's going on here, Vivian? Oh, Dorian is now over there. So I probably still need to talk to him before we get this whole mess started. Let's do that, then. That side was not out of frustration. Dorian is still one of my favorite characters. Uh, to be honest, even particularly more so because he's gay. And not... <sighs> it's better if I stop talking before I make myself into an even bigger idiot. Game of chess, please. Be, let it be a game of chess. They're all As the most eloquent dwarf you know. Sparkles <laughs> Speech Speech Way too much speech. <laughs> Barrick, there's really no need. What? What's going on? Inquisitor, you're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you. Or wants you. It, it, it may even kill you. But we'll miss you. If it counts. <laughs> He's going to get misty-eyed. <laughs> and you didn't know. Nope. Okay, folks. Time to take the party elsewhere. Tom and never wanted any Oh, Bull's making a fool out of himself. Leave him. <laughs> what is this about? <laughs> Whoa. This seems serious. <sighs> yeah. Whoa. It's true. When the Exalted Council has ended, I'm going back to Tabinta. For good, this time. I understand. Tabinta needs someone like you. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. Oh, damn. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. We only met a few times while I was home. He didn't say anything about keeping me as his heir. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. Uh, let's hear. Uh, what will you do in Devinter? So you'll truly be a magister. Oh yes, I can't wait to degrade the magisterium with my presence. A new outfit is required. <laughs> and then what? I find my father's killers and kill them back. Then I find those giving Devinter a bad name and kill them. They're most likely the same people, so that should make the job easier. I can help you. You'll need help. I could go with you. Not this time, my friend. It won't be entirely without support. Mayveris has gathered other Magisters who feel as we do. We'll be an actual faction in the Magisterium. I'll teach them manners, take them shopping. It'll be fun. I'm sorry about your father. I know it was complicated, but... I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. It still doesn't feel real. <sighs> I can only say I wish you well. 
I'm sorry to see him go, but this can do more good than you think. I wish you safe travels and the best of luck. Oh, I'll need it, thank you. Magisters are tricksy bastards. A present. A going away present. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship with the Inquisition gives you access to. Nice. I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice. Magic. What? You didn't think I would just leave and you'd never hear from me again, did you? You are my dearest friend. Perhaps my only friend. That will never change, no matter where we are. Now let's finish the good wine before the others get back. <laughs> the drinking! Wait, what? I'm still not done. Dorian. Ah, Liliana. Okay, last uh, person to talk to. That's gotta be the last. I've... I've spoken with everybody else already. Those must be the Knights Divine. Cool armor, by the way. Will you walk with me? It would be my honor. The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. And it hurts the eyes. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. <sighs> Everything changes. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I see are hands rub raw to make gold gleam, tears shed in the night over silk embroidery. Others overlook them and forget their pain, but I am divine and I cannot be blind. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Yep. We know too much. I'd fear anyone with our vault of secrets, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Me? Mine. <sighs> Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. The Inquisition's time is coming to an end. <sighs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I agree. The Inquisition has done enough. More than enough. Maybe it's time for us to lay down our swords and go home. We set out to restore peace. And now peace is upon us. You and I have come so far through the darkness together. It is time for us both to live in the light. But whatever you decide, I will be honored to stand beside you. <sighs> this is really hard to swallow. This is actually going to be the, like... Unless it is still going to involve the Inquisitor's death, it's going to end with something concluding, you know? The end of something. What is a... We're going to have to see. Anyway, well, next up, well, we're gonna see what this whole thing is gonna, uh, is gonna, well, end badly, I'd say. From what I saw in the trailer, it's gonna end badly. Anyway, see you guys in the